The journey that changed my life totally is the road to Santiago. Yes. When I said, okay, you know, I was telling people, hello, I'm Paulo Coelho, what are you? I said, a writer, which book did you write? And I said, no, I'm working on it. It was a lie because I was not working on anything, yeah. you know? Yeah. You want to be a writer, but you don't write books. Huh? So Santiago de Compostela made me accept that if I want to be a writer, I should write a book. Simple like this. You, you know? can't just tell people you're a writer and <laughs> no, you haven't no, written no. anything. You cannot be working on something. Huh? Yeah. But I had money. I had a wife that I still have, the same wife. Yes. Not the same, because she changed a lot. But let's say the same person, physical person. Yeah. Huh? And I changed also. I had, uh, I had the job on a television. And I was not happy. This enthusiasm thing. So I said to my wife. You didn't have it. You didn't have the enthusiasm. No. So I said to my wife, Christina, we have everything people can dream of, except joy. At least I don't have joy. Wow. So I have the seventeen thousand and five hundred dollars. Let's get the seventeen. Thousands five hundred dollars, and try to find the meaning of life. So I, I said to Christina, "Let's go. Let's start traveling." Oh. Okay, what is the next? Did Christina not have joy either? I think that is profound. Yeah. You know what you just said is so profound because you say that our only obligation is really to discover the personal legend. Absolutely, that's the only job. And to honor, and, and to, to honor. honor, to discover it and to honor it. That's really the only job you have in life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And to fulfill. And to fulfill it. Yeah. And to fulfill it.